is the Baja board GX4 out to kill you? My answer to that is quite possibly unless you follow these safety precautions. Number one, you need a motorcycle helmet. These road bike helmets are not gonna cut it. If you come off, you want your noggin protected. That means full facial guards. So if you slam into the pavement, then you're gonna be safe. This little beast here is capable of 42 miles an hour. That's 42 miles an hour. If you come off at that speed, it's gonna be in a world of hurt. So you need your protective gear. You need your elbow pads to protect your shiny elbows. You need your wrist guards to protect your shiny wrists and you need your knee guards to protect your knee guards. In addition, high visibility jacket if you're, roll, you're riding on the road. This is absolutely important so that you can actually tell whether or not people can see you. This will help people see you. The last safety feature on this thing which will keep you safe is setting the controller. You can set it in beginner, you can set it in intermediate, and you can set it in advanced mode. I always start with beginner, especially if you're new to skateboarding. This thing is can be ridden by a brand new rider. That's not a problem at all, but set it in beginner mode. In addition, this controller allows you to set the top speed by bringing down the amount of power that you've got anywhere between 10% and 100%. That's gonna control your acceleration curves. You've also got launch control in here, which allows you to set your curves for your acceleration. So um, that helps as well. You've also got settings inside of this controller that allow you to set up how fast the brake's gonna come on. So that's gonna stop you being thrown off the board. In addition, I've installed foot straps or bindings that allow me to hold onto the board and corner really, really hard. Again, this is not a toy. And also these bindings are set on my feet nice and loose so that if I do have an accident and I need to come off the board, I can simply slip my feet out. I don't attach myself. I use these simply as a mechanism to hold onto the board rather than this actually binding me to the board itself. So I'm watching out for that as well. If you follow these safety tips, you're gonna be absolutely fine. You're gonna have a lot of fun. Don't over go over what your own capability is because you need to build up to this thing. Again, it's a beast. 42 miles an hour is gonna kill anybody if you come off at that speed. So don't over go over your individual capability. Spend the hours necessary to learn this and you're gonna have a lot of fun. For those of you who wanna see more or come along for a ride with me, I ride with the Atlanta Eastgate crew and we ride every Saturday and Sunday, downtown Atlanta, come and join us. For those of you that just wanna come along for the rides, I post these videos weekly and those videos will include actual riding where I'm actually riding along with the Eastgate crew or riding by myself so you can actually do a point of view and see what I see. This thing is awesome. I highly recommend getting one. Please subscribe.